going to replace a tuck box. I'm going to show you how I, uh, I'm going to replace this tuck, tuck box. Uh, this is a box for my Da Vinci Tarot. And it's falling apart. And I'm going to lose the cards if I'm not careful. So I'm going to make a, a, another tuck box for it. And uh, I'll be using this one as a template. What you'll be needing is, I have double-sided tape. You could use um, Mod Podge or white glue or whatever kind of, but this, this sort of adheres right away, so I don't have to hold it for very long. Uh, I'll need, you'll need a ruler. You'll need a sharp knife. Uh, this is a, um, what do you call these things? They're foldings. They're also, um, also to make um, scoring. I use this for scoring. You're going to need some scissors and a pen, a box, the box that's falling apart, and then a, a cereal box, part of a cereal box. This is going to be uh, what we're going to make it out of. It's going to be a lot stronger than this. This is very thin. This is going to be a lot stronger. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a template. We're going to make a template from the actual box. Since it's falling apart, we can make a template. Now when you open it up inside here, I don't know, I can't see what's inside there, but there's a little, it's only attached in one place. Along the side, you'll see a, a flap that's glued on. And you just wanna kinda go inside and loosen it. Loosen it up, you can loosen it up on both sides. So it's, it's no longer glued to the side of it. Then it opens up and here you have your template. Easy peasy. So then we're going to, we're going to cut out the template. Um, if you have, now I don't have any straight edges along the sides. If you have a straight edge, just put, put one side along the straight edge. Oh, that looks sort of straight, but uh, I think that should be okay. Actually, this is the side flap, so it can actually be a little bit, I can kind of leave it. Uh, then we're going to do, we're going to just draw around draw around the pieces. Whoops. And you know, you have to make sure it doesn't slide. You can kind of, you know, if you have some um, painter's tape or something, you can kind of tape it down a little bit so it doesn't move. Just go around. And this is, you're actually making your template. Now I'm hoping it's not crooked. There's some forgiveness here, so don't worry too much about, about it. Okay, it's sliding a little bit. It should be okay. Just kind of adjust it as you keep going. Okay, so here's your template. So it's taken right from the box. And then you are going to cut out the template. And I'm going to cut this template out, but I'm not going to let you watch it because it's boring. Let's see. Okay, so I cut out my template. And if you open it up, you'll see it goes this way, and there's where the flap is. And there's kind of, you know, should be sort of the similar. Now you notice there's fold lines in here, and you have to decide which way, what, what you want to see. I'm gonna, I want to see this part, so I'm gonna put my fold lines. You can actually score it either direction and um, fold it either way, I think. Um, so I'm going to take my ruler and this, this part should all kind of be scored, I think, at the same area. So I'm going to take my uh, scoring tool here and just kind of you know, cut it down a little bit. We're, we're cutting out the flaps, scoring the flaps. And then here, we're scoring the flaps on this side.
So we're not cutting through it, we're just scoring it so we can bend it. Then we're going to bend um, these, this section we, where the, uh, the width is. So this, is, this section here is scored. And here we have another one. I'll turn this around a little bit. You can see it. This is scored here. I think I'm going to fold it the other way. It doesn't, you can kind of fold it both ways. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Let's score that. And then this is the flap that's uh, here. And we're going to score that. So we have our, all our score lines on this. I want this to be the outside. You could score, you could actually do it either way, but I'm going to have this as the outside. Now, the thing is, if you wanted a certain outside, you can like put like glue um, all kinds of pictures on one side and then just have it, when you fold it all together, you'll, you'll have like a design already on it. Or you can decorate it afterwards. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do as far as decoration. So I'm going to, I want this to be the outside. So we're just going to keep folding. And the next one is this center part here. Just fold along the score line there. Got another score line here. We have another score line here for that flap. We have another score line on this end. Another score line over here. Um, you can also use, you know, maybe the side. Well, I, I also used uh, before I found my my uh, scorer. I was using the edge of a of a fork, a, a edge of a knife. I would use a butter knife, though. I wouldn't use necessarily this. Um, Okay, so this is a lot heavier. Uh, people, uh, people who make books, they use a lot of times they use these um, old cereal boxes to make books. So here we have the beginnings of our uh, new box, and it's much heavier, much heavier. So just to give you an idea how this works, now we did, did we score the top of these? We did not. Um, I can't remember what the length was on this. Like, like a half an inch. So these are scored about a half an inch. These are the, the little lips that go inside. Um, let's see. I don't want to. I don't want to have the marking show. Well, let's do a little mark. About another half inch. I'm just going to score that. Let's see. Let's score that. So we will get folded in as well. Whoops. That's going to be folding in as well. Okay, so essentially what you're going to do then, so here we have our template, which is this, and what we're going to do is we're going to, um, they're already folded. This is the key. This is the one that's the critical one. This is the one that is attaches to the inside of the box. And you can see how it's already coming together. I'm going to fold the sides in. So it's good to fold everything at least once so they're, they're ready to be put together. So now I'm going to, on this, uh, it's going to attach like this. So I want to put either my, my tape here or there. Um, I haven't quite, let's see, I'm going to go either way. This is double-sided tape. This is called, uh, 
uh, Suk Wang, Suk Wang. This is amazing stuff, Suk Wang tape. I got it on Amazon, it's double-sided tape. You just kind of eyeball it. And it sticks. This stuff is really seriously sticks. So, um, I don't know if I want to put it here. I think I want to put it here because then if it sticks there, it'll be there'll be lots of room. Okay. So we're, first, you put it on. Put it on the oh, piece that you want. Put it on there. So you see, it's it's on there. And it's double-sided there. And we're going to take this off. You just kind of, to take it off, you just kind of pluck at it. And it's not coming off. Okay, there you see. There you see it's on there. Then we're going to attach it and just line everything up. Now this sticks pretty well, so you just want to bring it, bring the top edge right to the bottom edge. There, see how that, how how perfectly matched that is. Yeah, that's perfect. And this will stick. There's no waiting. It's that's in there. That's totally in there. Okay, so we have our box. Now, uh, this is the top of the box. It has a little notch in it. And so it's gonna close up there. Now, is it not going in very, no, it's kind of going in pretty well. If it for some reason isn't going in well, you can, um, no, it should go in fine. I'm not sure why it's not going in. Maybe it just needs a little, wiggle room or something, but that's good. Now, what I'm going to do with this box is I am going to not put it in this way because you know when you have uh, tuck boxes and you put your cards in and it gets stuck on that bottom piece? It gets stuck on this thing, this thing here. So I'm going to put this on top. I'm going to put that on top and I'm going to use it with the um, with this more of this tape. That might be too much. It's a little smaller. So I'm going to put this on the outside. Just put it there. I'm going to try to pluck it off again. You could use um, white glue. You can use um, hot glue, you could use um, gel medium. I do kind of like this though. And then we just put it up there. I'm going to tack it down. Put the finger in there and get it tight. See how tight that goes on? Now what I'm going to do is, so I have a box. Now what I'm going to do next is, and this is a much heavier box. Now you can decorate it however you want. Now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my art cards and I'm going to put it right there, so I'll know what this what this deck is uh, what this deck is for. So I'm going to put that on there. Uh, I don't know if I'll put it on the box. And yeah, let's throw it on the box. On the box. Oops, I may, go, I may have gone too high on that. Yeah, I think I have to cut that off a little bit here. I wonder if I cut this part off too. Oh, well, that should be okay. So you take this tape off. There you go. And I'm just going to put this on there. Usually it's good to start from the top down and just see if you can center that top part and just work your way down. If there's, I just made a mistake. Oh no, I didn't, it's okay. So there you go. I have a brand new box for my, my cards. 
didn't take long, much sturdier. And it includes the book, put the book in there. Now I could decorate it. You know, I have it sort of decorated with, with I, know what it, I know what it's for, solid goes in here. You can do all kinds of, you know, I could put a ribbon around it and so I close it up that way. Um, so anyways, that's a nice little tuck box I made for myself using the original for the uh, template. The other thing you could do is just, since you're, this is no, I'm not going to be using this, you could also cut the pictures out and put them on, you know, put them on the box if you wanted to decorate that way or you could just, you know, just decorate it any way you want. So that's how I make another tuck box for one that's falling apart. And uh, that's it. So again, I'm uh, making a tuck box uh, that's, that's uh, more solid. I'm using um, this as a template. And then I'm using, um, there's a name for this thing. I can't remember what it is, but it, it scores. It's a scorer. And then you need uh, these items here. Maybe this to open up the uh, box, and that's you're good to go. Gratis. And it gives you a way to use your cards, your art cards. Hey, hope you've enjoyed this. Have a great day.